Welcome to Storytime, boys and girls. So good to see each of you here with us, and thank you for joining in. And uh, once again, we're coming to you from the uh, Fairview Park. Uh, this is right off Highway 601 uh, uh, in Fairview, and uh, uh, this is our pond or lake that we have here. You can see all kinds of things, and hopefully you're hearing some of the, the birds that are that are just singing, and they're kind of coming back to life here uh, to, uh, as spring is certainly uh, in the air uh, here this day. Boys and girls, I've got a great story for you today. Uh, this is called The Parables. Now, uh, boys and girls, a parable was a story that Jesus would tell to teach us a very valuable lesson about what uh, uh, God word says to us about. So let me read you a story about the parables uh, of, of what a parable is and and uh, uh, what Jesus had to say toward bringing about a truth that his father had for each, each of us to enjoy. Do you know that Jesus told stories to teach things that were unseen? Two of them I will unfold and then tell you what they mean. The first parable compares God's own kingdom to a field, for which farmers deeply care, working hard to see its yield. One of them scattered some seeds, and then tired, he went to bed. Meanwhile, his foe planted weeds there, deep down in the soil, and those weeds, they began to spread. All the servants ran and cried. What a trouble, what a flop. Will you let the good seeds die? Why do something? Save the crop. Listen well, the sower said. Let them be and let them grow. After harvest, we will shred all the bad ones that were sown. Now go gather all the wheat and burn all the weeds in the field. Evil will suffer defeat, for that is my deep desire. It will surely be the same when this world comes to an end. All the sin and all the shame to the fire will be sent. God will judge and separate good from sin, both yours and mine. Evil will see its ill fate and the righteous ones will shine. In the story number two or parable number two, Jesus said, God in heaven cares for you. And that's something that you and I cannot lose. 100 sheep were grazing out in the meadows of green bliss. Could the shepherds do without one if it had gone am amiss? Would he leave the 99 and risk danger to find one until it was wholly fine? Would he get this hard job done? Other sheep are well behaved, grazing in the pastures that are green. Only one needs to be saved, but that one lost sheep is nowhere to be seen. The good shepherd stays on course, and at last the sheep is found. He can go back and rejoice. His whole flock is sound and safe. May these stories make you wise while they teach you this great truth. You are precious in God's eyes. Follow him throughout your youth. There are many stories more than the Lord told in his word. Some you may have read before, others are still to be heard. But now put the book away, close your eyes and turn off the light, and do not forget to pray. Have sweet dreams, my friend. Good night. That's a great uh, illustration of two of the stories that Christ told. Uh, the one was about, uh, there was a hundred sheep that the shepherd was in charge of and one strayed and got lost and uh, there was 99 that were safe and uh, and Jesus said would the shepherd uh, just be, be content with just the 99 and let that one that was lost just wander around and maybe get uh, and not find its way back or would the would the shepherd leave those 99 that were safe and go and go find the one that was lost. The answer that Jesus would tell was that the good that the good shepherd goes and finds that one that is lost.
and brings that one that was lost back into the fold to where now he once again has 100 sheep. That's a wonderful parable, isn't it, boys and girls? Let's go to the Lord in prayer if we may at this time. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for every boy and girl that's listening. Thank you, Lord, for the parables that Jesus taught. They taught us about life and it taught us about some things that gives us a clear understanding of what your word says about real life situations and circumstances. So we thank you, Father, for that. And Lord, just bless every boy and girl. Take care of them. And Lord, uh, just help this to be a good day for them. Keep them safe. And Father, may each one of them be in your house tomorrow. For we ask these things in Christ's name. Amen. May God bless you, boys and girls. Look forward to seeing you next week. And I'll see you in church for those that are here at Austin Grove Baptist Church. God bless.